You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. is Genergy Vibes with your host, Jen Russman. The innate power to heal is within us all. Genergy Vibes is your power hour for self-healing and awakening the powerful creator that is within us all. Jen creates a safe space as she gently releases residual trauma and pain energies instantly and permanently. She helps you feel lighter, calmer, and finally free of what she calls the trigger trauma loop. So please welcome the host of Genergy Vibes, Jen Rossman. Cheers and welcome to Genergy Vibes. I'm your host, Jen Rossman, and you are watching live on Bold Brave TV. Oh my gosh. I made it. We made it here, you guys. I'm so excited to be holding this space for you each week at this time. And I have been really reflecting a lot. Last night, I have a lot of nerves, excitement, um, a lot of emotion, because I've really been reflecting on what has led me to this moment, this moment here at Genergy Vibes, where I get to hold this space with you every single week. And what does that mean? And why am I here holding this space for you? And it's really, really incredible when I look back on my life's journey, because that's why we're here. And my life has been a very, very, very long healing journey. And there has been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. There has been ups and downs, ins and outs, doubts, fears, tears, you name it. I have been through it all from healing trauma to healing addiction to healing chronic illness and everything in between. And I was thinking about this moment coming live to you in this container called Genergy Vibes. And what does that mean? Like this moment for me means that I have taken my pain and I have turned it into power by giving it purpose. And the purpose that I'm giving it is the vision that I have for you because there is so much conditioning out there when it comes to our ability to heal or our inability to heal. And I I challenge that because of my own experiences and what I know to be true about healing and about self-healing. And that's what this epic adventure that I've put together for you is all about. It's about taking you on a journey to discover your innate power to heal and to really, really tap into the powerful creator that lives inside of you. Because we all have that divine power inside of us. And Genergy Vibes is not only about self-healing, but it's a little twist on self-healing. It's really, really centered around the energetics of healing because everything is energy and energy is everything. And that really is an important, important piece when it comes to healing is we cannot overlook the oftentimes overlooked 
piece, which is the energy. So self-healing and the energetics of healing is what we are all about here at Genergy Vibes. And I'm so, so excited to be able to take my life experience and answer the call. And I've often said to people in my circle that who know me that I don't work for myself. I work for my vision. And the vision that I hold in my heart for you is that we start to really, really consider self-healing to be real because it is real. And so I imagine a world where self-healing is not only considered real, but it's mainstream. It's no longer considered the alternative way or the last solution because nothing else worked. Why aren't we turning to our innate power to heal first? Because that is where our power to heal lies, is inside of us. And so this is what this is all about. And so for today, I'm going to start you off by telling you that every single week you get to plug in and power up with me at this time on Wednesdays. I'm so, so excited to bring my energy to you, to bring my experience, strength, and hope around what healing can look like for you. And so where do we start? We start by looking at the conditioning and start unlayering and shedding all of the things that we've been taught to think and believe when it comes to our bodies, when it comes to health, when it comes to disease, when it comes to trauma, when it comes to anything that's emotional, spiritual, or physical that needs our attention and healing. I'm here to shed the layers of conditioning and to do this with you. And one of the first things that we need to do to do that is we need to be open. We need to be open to the possibilities, opening ourselves to possibility. And then from there, get curious, start getting curious. Ask yourself, does this even make sense? Is what I'm experiencing is what they're telling me. Does this even make sense? Is this even true for me? Right? And then once we get curious, take it a step further and start questioning everything. Question everything. Because that's where the answers begin to emerge, is when we start being open, we start getting curious, and we start questioning everything. And it needs to make sense to you. And so this journey is all about leading you home to your inner knowing, your truth, and your innate power to heal. So what I would really, really like to do with you right now is I want to play a little game and I call it the what if game. So I want to ask you, first of all, I want you to actually think of whatever comes to mind first. Think of one diagnosis, one condition, one challenge that you're facing in your life right now, whatever comes to mind. Now think about that and then ask yourself, what if, what if everything that you have been taught to think and learn or taught to think and know and believe about this one issue, what if all of that wasn't true? What if everything that you've been taught to think and believe about your body's ability to heal or your body's inability to heal, what if all of that wasn't true? What if that's not true? What would that mean for you? What would that mean for your life? Like, how would that change things for you if you all of a sudden realized this isn't even true? That there's a greater possibility and probability for myself if I just get open and if I just get curious and if I just start to tap into that inner knowing inside of me, right? So that's the journey that we're going to take here at Genergy Vibes. And I am so, I am like beyond humbled and privileged that I get to be your guide. You know, as a self-healing advocate, this is my passion. This is my heart is to lead you home to your ability to heal. And 
I am going to be bringing on extraordinary guests in the upcoming weeks who are going to be, who are going to be sharing like extraordinary different modalities. Did, did you know, I didn't know this until recently, there's over 44,000, 44,000 healing modalities that exist. And so there's so much to cover. I doubt we'll get into all of that on the Genergy Vibe show, but my hope is to bring so much goodness about that to you. So right now we have to take a short break to hear from our sponsors. You are watching Genergy Vibes live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Rustman. And when we come back, I'm going to actually dive into my own personal story and my journey of healing the incurable. You do not want to miss out on this. Stay tuned. Author, radio show host, and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. The opiate epidemic has reached crisis levels, and with so many families affected by addiction, opiate-related drug overdoses, and death, the time is now to have a real constructive conversation about addiction that could lead to better prevention, treatment, and recovery. Alan Charles, author and keynote speaker on drug abuse and prevention, presents The Alan Charles Show. Alan brings a message of hope, sharing his unbelievable story of surviving a 24-year addiction to cocaine and and highlights from his memoir, Walking Out the Other Side, an addict's journey from loneliness to life. His raw honesty and courageous heart breaks the stigma of addiction and offers a unique perspective into the mind of an addict. Join Alan each week as he brings his listeners to a true understanding of the grip of addiction. It is only with this understanding that we can begin to heal. The Alan Charles Show, Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network. Welcome back to Genergy Vibes. You are watching live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman. And wow, so now I get to dive into the details of my healing journey. How exciting that I, it really is a privilege to be sitting here with you today because, you know, there was a time that I couldn't see, I couldn't walk. I mean, I couldn't even go to the bathroom by myself. So the fact that I'm able to sit here with you today and share with you what I need to share with you is just such, such a privilege and an honor. So I want to take you back in time a little bit. So my my healing journey started, honestly, at age three. And it started with trauma in my childhood. And I am a survivor of childhood sexual trauma. And so that went on for some years. And that turned into a lot of uh, secrets and emotional suppression. And which led into addiction, alcoholism and addiction. And I hit bottom in my addiction, kind of like the end of my, like 24, around age 24, and, um, so I ended up in 12 step recovery and that was really the beginning of my personal development and my spiritual expansion and, um, healing journey. I, the healing really began when I was 24 and began my journey of getting sober. And so I, I, take us back to age three, because it's really, really important because I, I make a huge connection and I'm going to talk about this in a few minutes. But so I was about 
four years into my sobriety, literally like just getting my feet back on the ground, getting to know myself, thawing out, as I always like to say, like it was a thawing out process, right? Because I had lived my life so numb and doing anything and everything to avoid the pain that I, the, the silent suffering, the pain that was inside of me and living, literally living in my body. And so I was about four years sober and things are going well. I had my career. I was in a relationship. I was 29 years old. We're going back to 1998. And I woke up one day and I had vision issues in my right eye and I was semi-paralyzed on the left side of my body. And I chalked it up to stress. I thought it was just stress, right? So I walked around for two weeks. Lo and behold, it turns out I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis at age 29. And the rug was ripped out from under me, literally ripped out from under me. And my life, like these are life defining moments that we have, right? Where the rug is ripped out from under you. Everything changes in an instant, right? This is one of those moments and everything changed for me. And I remember in the beginning of this, this journey with this chronic illness saying to myself, I was standing in my family room and I said to myself out loud, I said, I know there's going to be gifts that come out of this someday. I just don't see them yet. And I had an awareness about that back then. And here I am, fast forward decades later, and there are so many gifts that have come out of this experience. And so, but what happened for me back then was I spent those first almost seven years super, super sick, disabled, and I say homebound, probably 75, 80% of the time I was on the couch or in bed laying down resting because I had a lot of issues with vertigo and vision issues. And I mean, you name it, I had it. And so I lost that experience. I lost everything. I lost my independence. I lost my career. I lost my first business. I lost my first marriage. And so ultimately what ended up happening for me was one day I woke up and experienced a divine intervention. And I call it a divine intervention because something moved inside of me and something shifted and a brand new truth landed inside of me. And I said, I'm not going to live sick anymore. I'm going to get well. <laughs> and I had no clue how I was going to do it. I just knew that living sick like that was not it for me anymore. I was done. And so at that time, I made the decision to go off all of my medications, all the injections, everything I was taking, which were making me even sicker than the dis-ease itself, right? And so I went off everything and I that was a tough decision. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't, but like there wasn't a lot of external support, like my medical team, family, everybody was so afraid that they were like, you're gonna get sicker if you go off your medication. And my inner knowing was saying, no, no, my body was screaming, we're done, no my inner knowing, I, I'm going to talk a lot about your inner knowing on here in Genergy Vibes because it's so, so important. It's, it's the core of your innate power to heal is following and listening to your inner knowing. So I made a power of decision that day that changed everything. And I decided I'm going to heal. And again, I had no clue how I was going to do it. I just knew that I wasn't going to live sick anymore. And that's what ended up happening for me. The universe dropped breadcrumb after breadcrumb and led me down a path of healing, which started with ordering a Jack Lane juicer off of an infomercial. So I've always said an infomercial saved my life because I started to juice and my body woke up and it started to heal. So I am here to tell you that give your body what it needs and it will give you what you want. And the connection I spoke of earlier, I want to make very, very clear, and I stand really, really firm on this. There is a connection between trauma, suppressed emotions in the body, cellular memory, and energetic attachments, and dis-ease in the body. It all leads to dis-ease in the body, and I'm going to be breaking down this connection for you as we move forward each 
week. We are going to take another short break to hear from our amazing sponsors. You are watching Genergy Vibes live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman. Oh my gosh, when we come back, do not go away. When we come back, I am going to dive into the AIM approach that I like to talk about when it comes to setting the stage for healing and why luck has nothing to do with it. Stay tuned. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBC. BBM Global Network. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back. I'm your host, Jen Russman. You are watching Genergy Vibes live on Bold Brave television. I'm so excited. So yay, we get to jump into some really yummy stuff now. Um, Very, very excited. So right now I want to talk to you about something so super, super important when it comes to setting the stage for self-healing. So it's all about building a really, really solid foundation for yourself that you can build on and expand on. And so setting the stage This is where the energetics of self-healing come into play. So, so important. I have notes here because, so if you see me referring, bear with me because I don't want to miss a thing, okay? So I am like, oh my God, so this is so exciting. So I want to talk to you about my AIM approach. It's all about taking your AIM, A-I-M. Yes, it's an acronym. And so, and this is really why luck has nothing to do with healing, because I, over the years, have been told, God, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. You're so lucky you're doing so well. You're so lucky, ABC. You're so lucky, XYZ. No, I am not lucky. I do not live by chance. I live by choice. I'm a powerful creator. I am a conscious creator. And that's what I'm here to do is to show you, you do not have to live by chance anymore. You can choose to live by choice by tapping into your innate power. So luck has nothing to do with healing. I want to make this very, very clear. Nothing to do with healing. You are not a lucky creator. You are a powerful creator creator. So what does this mean? How do we tap in? What is this energetics of healing? What is this aim that I'm talking about? This is about taking your aim and the aim A I M starts with the letter a and a stands for aligned. You must be aligned, living in alignment, living in alignment with your thoughts, living in alignment with your beliefs, 
living in alignment with your choices and your actions, right? Living in alignment with, with your values and with your vision and with your desires. So whatever you're desiring for yourself, whatever you're looking to change or heal, you need to bring all of these pieces that I just talked about into an energetic alignment because every thought you have, every emotion you feel, every intention that you set, every single thing you focus on, every word you speak is energy. Everything carries its own frequency. So if you're all over the place, right, chaotic vibration, and you've got these words over here and these beliefs over here and these thoughts over there, and none of these frequencies are mad. It's like, oh, it's like you're misfiring. You're living your life like misfiring left and right. So we need to bring all of it into alignment and you need to be in alignment because when you are in alignment, mountains move on your behalf. Okay. And so that's the first step in aim is alignment, being aligned, right? So then once, once you're aligned, then you're able to now step into the letter I, which is intentional, being intentional with all of those things that I just talked about, your thoughts, the words you speak, your beliefs, your actions, your choices, um, the people that you surround yourself with, the messages, what you're taking in, right? And being intentional is all about focus, the energy of focus. And so there's that old expression, where your focus goes, your energy flows, right? So it's super, super important to hone in on what you're focusing on and keeping your thoughts focused on what it is that you desire most because your thoughts create things. Seriously, this is all energy, you guys. So you're aligned, you're intentional. What comes next? Now we look at the M. M stands for magnetic. Magnetic, you become a super attractor because you're a conscious creator. So now you're magnetic. You are in the energy of attraction. And so now this is about movement. This is the energy of movement, right? So you're now, you are set up with your alignment, your intentions. Now things get to move and move around for you because now you're super, super clear and you're communicating energetically with the universe. And you're saying, this is what I'm calling in. And you become an attractive and a magnet to, it's like a pull. And so now the universe is like, yes, yes. And the universe is able to rearrange and arrange everything that you need. And they puts it on your path so that you can start calling in and receiving what it is that you want. And this can apply to anything, but we're talking about healing. This is what I did. This is what I've done to overcome and take my life back and to live free from all of that pain and suffering as I've lived in alignment. I have lived in through intentions and I have lived magnetic. And so this is all about taking your aim. So if you are not aligned, right? If you like, I wasn't aligned for those seven years. I was, I'm sick. I don't feel good. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm sick. I'm so sick. Oh, I'm disabled. All those things I was telling myself, it was like this, this loop, this cycle. And it perpetuated it. The energy of that was so heavy and so dark. And so it just created more of it. And so it's really, really important to shift your energy when it comes to your thoughts and the words that you speak and what you're telling yourself so that you can become the magnet that you were designed to be. So right now we are going to break away real quick to hear from our awesome sponsors. And you are watching Genergy Vibes Live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Rustman. And when we come back, we are going to dive into the missing link to healing. So stay tuned. 
Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBC. BBM Global Network. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Welcome back into Genergy Vibes. You are watching live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman. So we just got done talking about setting the stage for healing with the AIM approach of living aligned, intentional, and magnetic. And all of that combined means that you are a yes now. You are the energy of yes now saying, yes, now this is for me. And so... Where do we go from here? So this is where I want to dive in and talk to you about the oftentimes overlooked missing link to healing whole and living free. If you want to heal whole and live free, then you do not want to overlook this one piece, which is what this show is all about. And it's one word, energy. I discovered for myself, and I know other people who have also discovered this truth for themselves as well, energy is the missing link to healing whole and living free. What does that even mean? Okay, so there I was decades and decades and decades later, waking up going, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? I, I've shown up for myself. I've done the work. I've spent decades doing the inner work. I've done counseling. I've done group counseling. I've done 12 step uh, program. I've done tapping, meditation, yoga, gong bass. I mean, you name it. <laughs> I've done it. Like showed up for myself. And here I was after decades of doing this inner work to heal all of the things, the trauma, the addiction, the chronic illness. And here I am going, what's wrong with me? I'm still walking around with this deep wounded ball of like sadness deep down in the core of my beingness. And what ended up happening for me was the universe answered my question. And I wasn't even really in that moment consciously asking what's wrong with me, but like I asked, like, what's wrong? What's going, what is, what's this about? And the universe answered. And the, the answer was, you are energetically attached to your past traumas. You are energetically attached. So what happened was, again, breadcrumbs, some energy guides were put on my path. 
incredible, incredible energy guides and workers, light workers, incredible human beings doing extraordinary energy work. They were put on my path and I started to work with them. And what I noticed immediately was an energetic shift that happened inside of me. And working with one of them, I had what was, I would call a soul's recognition where I was like, hmm, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I need to do this. So I went on a search and I learned and I, I self-taught and I, like everything else, I self-taught and I was able to clear myself energetically. I was able to clear emotional blocks and release energetic attachments to those past traumas going all the way back to childhood. And what happened, I've termed it, I call it, all I could think to say was, this is like a full sacred rebirth. I experienced a sacred rebirth when I went through this process of clearing myself. And just like the healing that I experienced from the MS, this sacred rebirth healing, I couldn't keep it to myself. How could I? Like, this is a gift that's been given to me. And I can't keep this experience and this knowledge to myself. And so I went out and I learned and I I got certified so that I could work with others and help them to free themselves from their old traumas, people who are still looping around in the loop, the trigger loop, right? The trigger loop. And I don't live in that trigger loop anymore. I don't carry that ball of sadness in me anymore. I'm free. And it's because of the energy, the energetics of healing have completely set me free. And so I work with the bravest clients on this planet. And one of them, I just want to give you a sampling of what I'm talking about here, is a woman named Amanda, credible woman. And she experienced a rape and she lived 14 years with severe anxiety, PTSD, and this hard ball in right, like right here in the, in her diaphragm area. And you, she, you could literally feel it. She said it was this hard ball and doctor after doctor after doctor, nobody knew what it was. Nobody had answers for her. They diagnosed her with this digestive disorder where she, anytime she got anxious, she would get sick and be sick for days on end. And then we ended up in one session, one session. I released a trapped energetic attachment in that area of her body. She literally said, Jen, it I can, it felt like you pulled that ball out of me and that area in her body was no longer hard. It became soft and concave. She could push in and the pain was gone. 14 years she lived with that and nobody, no doctor could tell her what it was. And one session it's gone. And it's been, this was last year. So it's been almost a year and she it's gone. She's free of it. And talk about life-changing. This is what the energetics of healing can do for you. When you address things energetically, everything can shift and change. You can transmute anything by transmuting energy. It's all, the energetics of healing is about transformation. And I have another client who I've been working with her son, and he's medically complex, like severely medically complex. And he is three years old, about three and a half now. And I started working with him last year. And long story short, he, he was, he wasn't talking. He wasn't walking. He wasn't communicating. He wasn't within months the this beautiful child, Caden, he's like my, my godson across the country. He is thriving. He's walking, he's talking, he's knowing he's speaking in different languages like he's, he's amazing. And all because I was able to connect with him 
and help him release these energetic attachments to the traumas of him spending his first 600 days in the NICU and a rehab. Like the, he went through so much physical, emotional, mental traumas that he couldn't communicate and couldn't process because he was a little, little one. So energy is everything. It is the missing link. It is what can set us free. And so I need to get, we need this information out there. It needs to become mainstream and not be considered alternative anymore because people are suffering and we don't need people suffering anymore. We, th pain is, um, pain is necessary. Suffering is optional. That's all I'm going to say about that. Like we don't have to suffer anymore. The power is within you. The power is inside of you. It's up to you to tap into it and make that power of decision for yourself so that you can set yourself free and really, really know the truth of what our bodies and our souls, our minds are capable of. Like we are, we're incredible. We are incredible. The problem is we're, we've been conditioned. And so we need to shed the conditioning. We need to be willing to shed the conditioning and strip that all away and start from scratch and say, okay, what makes sense? What doesn't make sense for me? What's true? What's not true? And really, really go from there through getting curious with yourself, questioning everything, exploring, right? Exploring your options because you have options. And when you start to view life and healing through the lens of energy, <laughs> the world of healing opens up to you. I promise you this. Oh my gosh. And so I have this, um, this beautiful, beautiful child who's just thriving and I cannot wait to meet him. He lives in Colorado. I'm in New York and I do all of my energy healing remotely from my home because energy has no boundaries. So I can be in New York, Caden can be in Colorado, and I can connect to him energetically and help his body to release those energetic attachments so that his body can better heal and do what it innately knows what to do because our, our bodies are designed to be healthy and to thrive and to be in balance. And so when we throw in all the conditioning and the imprints and we throw in all the toxins and the, the poor eating habits and the lifestyle, you know, the poor lifestyles that so many of us are, are living. Um, these are all choices and we don't have to live by chance. We can choose to live by choice and be a powerful creator and make those power of decisions for yourself and do it through the lens of energy and the energetics of healing. So right now we are going to take another very brief break to hear from our sponsors. I'm your host, Jen Russman. You've been watching Genergy Vibes live on Bold Brave TV. And please do not go away. When we come back, I am going to be sharing with you some of my personal, what I call power principles for mindset mastery and empowered living. Don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Dr. RC will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success, as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers, as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live to Dare to Soar, Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Network and tune in radio as Dr. RC will provide thought provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. 
you're a person caring for someone living with dementia, then this program is for you. It's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving. The foundation of care, Susan Kohler believes, is communication. Innovative Dementia Care with Susan Kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one, increase quality interactions, decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately three and a half to four million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings? What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale. An international initiative called Nurse Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing, Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBM Global Network. Welcome back to Genergy Vibes. Thank you for watching live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman. And woo, we get to get into some really cool stuff now. So we have set the stage for healing with the aim. We have talked about the energetics of healing and energy being the missing link to healing and what that looks like and what that means. And now I want to share with you what I call power principles. And these are principles that I have collected, if you will, for myself. And these, and I call them powerful power principles because they're super, super powerful. Like they have an energy about them. There's an energetic shift with each one of them that I'm going to share with you. And so my decades long healing journey. These are truths that I've learned for myself and I have adopted them for myself as principles to live by. And so <clears throat> they've really were born of all of my experiences in this journey that I've been on. And so the lessons that I've learned, right? Um, all the struggles and I, the brick walls that I've hit. And um, sometimes I had to learn things. Huh, oftentimes I had to learn things the hard way. And so, but again, it's been worth all of it because so many gifts have come out of everything that I've been through, especially those darkest moments, right? And those brick walls and the, the pain. And so these power principles are are at the core of who I am now and I want to share them with you because they've changed my life they've changed my life and they've helped me shift my energy um, so that I can live more aligned more intentional and be more magnetic so I want to start off by saying that success is 80% internal, 20% external. So when we think of healing, the success of your healing is 80% internal. It's the inner work and 20% external. So this is really about an energetic shift away from external into the internal world of you. So with that, the I want to just, I have some notes because I don't want to um, miss anything, but I have to read 
why, why principles? Like, why do I have these principles? Well, let's look at the definition of a principle and this I need to read. A principle is a fundamental truth that serves as a foundation for a system of belief or behavior. So a principle is a fundamental truth that serves as a foundation for a system of belief or behavior. Super, super powerful. And so this is about, again, living by choice, not by chance. And so it's a foundation for aligning with your inner guidance system. These power principles are the foundation for you aligning with your inner guidance system. So the first power principle that I want to share with you, and I live by this, is my point of power is now. Your point of power is now. It's not in yesterday. It's not in tomorrow. See, when we're in yesterday, there's regret, there's resistance, there's uh, resentment, there's all of those heavy, heavy energies. Um, and when we're living in the future, in our minds, that's where the anxiety and the worry is. And again, those are a whole other bundle of energies, right? And so we're displacing our energy when we're not living in the now and the present moment, okay? And so your point of power is now. So this is about mindfulness. This is about living more present and more in the now because that's where your power is. It's available to you 24 seven right now. Okay. And it's inside of you. It's not external. So stop seeking externally for the validation and the confirmation because it's all inside of you. So that's power principle. Number one, another power principle that I uh, live by is everything I need to be successful is already inside of me. This was a super, super tough one for me to get. I hit a lot of brick walls to get this one. Sometimes I still slip a little bit, but everything you need to be successful is inside of you. So that means everything that you need to heal is already inside of you. And this again is about moving away from seeking external validation and moving into that internal, the inner knowing and trusting your inner guidance system and your intuition, which is your inner knowing. So the next one I want to bring to you is everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for you. This one is probably been my biggest challenge because I lived much of my life in the victim mindset and that held me hostage in the energy of powerless because I was thinking and acting from the energy of being a victim. And so it was always about things were happening to me, right? So the power of one word, when you change the word two to four, huge, huge energy shift. Everything is happening for you. Everything is always working out for you, not to you. And when we shift that energy around that, whew, we become so powerful. And it's so important to remember, it doesn't even have to make sense. When something doesn't make sense, when we can't see how you know it's going to translate and turn out, it's okay. Like trusting the process and trusting that everything is working out for you right now in this moment and trusting that. And so that moves us into another, a favorite one of mine, which is I am always happening on time. You are always happening on time. It's divine timing. Everything is divine timing. You are always happening right on time. And this energy shift with this power principle really, really has helped me deal with patience um, and just trusting that everything is as it should be right now and everything's okay. Everything is good. So with that, um, I'm going to end the power principles on the, on this final one. And this one is 
I am always one decision away from a new reality and a new life. And that speaks to my power of decision that I talked about earlier. You are one decision away from a brand new reality. So those are some of my power prints. They're not all of them. There's some of them. And so I was so thrilled to share those with you today. And so I want to just, oh my gosh, we have covered so much today. There's been so much that we've covered everything from healing the incurable to your power to heal within to setting the stage for healing and taking your aim, living aligned, intentional and magnetic to talking about the energetics of healing and the missing link to healing whole and living free, which is energy and uh, even dabbling in some power principles for your mindset and empowered living. So now let's talk about what's coming up for next week. I'm so, so beyond excited for next week's show. This topic for next week is near and dear to my heart. It's been a huge part of my healing journey. And we are going to be talking about frequency healing. And this right here, this teeny tiny little two by two device, we are going to be talking about this is technology meets science meets spirituality. Like seriously, in these two by two, two by two, this little device puts your health and healing literally in the palm of your hand. So we are going to be diving into frequency healing and I'm bringing on my amazing colleague and friend, Nicole Crowley. She is going to walk us through the frequency healing. So I hope you will join me for that episode. I'm so excited. So thank you so much for being here with me today. I have had so much fun with you. I'm so privileged and honored to hold this space for you here at Genergy Vibes. And again, thank you for watching us live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman, and I cannot wait to catch up with you next week. See you then. You've been listening to Genergy Vibes with host Jen Russman. With Jen as your guide, it's time to lead yourself home to your innate power to heal within. Self-healing is your divine birthright, and the energetics of healing is your source to transformation and liberation. So tune in next week for a new beginning right here on Jen Russman's Genergy Vibes. been listening to the bbm global network the ideas views and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas views and opinions of the bbm global network company